Well, let's see. Oh, we have this clip I want to play from a documentary called 20 Gay Male NYC, something like that. I don't know, but it's a weird title. Supposedly, this is about a few gay dudes that really hate other gay dudes or they, won't, they don't want to be labeled as gay but you know they're the ones who you know you know they get butt fucked and everything they suck cock and they get cock up the ass but they don't want to say that they're gay or they i mean they they know that they're homo i mean they know that that's what they are and it's not that they're self-loathing you know it's, it's not like they're self-denying that they're gay but it's just that they don't want to carry that label and supposedly uh, these gay dudes are not comfortable with other gay dudes and they have these uh, assumptions about other gay guys I don't know I mean I don't really care about what other gay guys are doing personally but you know I have my own opinions obviously we could talk about AIDS and HIV. We could talk about all this shit. But in reality, I'm not going to judge myself based on somebody else. I won't do that. Yes, there is a gay community. It exists. That was a question that was posed in the 1980s. You know, where you had these stupid newscasters going around town and asking people, Do you believe that there is a gay community? Of Obviously, jackass, there is a gay community. There are a bunch of guys out there that want to take it up the ass they're homos okay plain and simple and i'm sure that uh, people want to say but you know jose there are other variances and i'm sure that they are but uh, these guys are not i don't know what they are i mean they're pretty strange uh, I mean, these are the type of guys that I would say that stay in the club up to 2.30 in the morning trying to look for a hookup. And they can't get one and they get pissed, you know, and um, I don't know. I don't know what to say, but I, I dealt with these kinds of gay guys before in the past. And it's not that they have a problem per se, like it's a... I mean, I haven't been with them 24-7, you know, following them and shadowing them, see how their personal lives are like or how they live their lives. But I can make assumptions, though. Well, here's the clip. I'm going to play it. Uh, it's very interesting. Uh, these gay guys have some sort of, I don't know, some sort of beef with being labeled gay and being part of a community that is gay and and uh, supposedly they hate other gay guys. Uh, I don't know. I don't know. Let's see what they say. Well, everyone's a little bit gay, but the, the, the whole point, that's already putting things in a box. The point is that everyone's a little bit different. And, uh, but yeah, I would identify as gay because it's easier to do that, but that doesn't mean that I don't. Uh, want to fuck women every so often well I mean I don't know about that uh, yeah everybody's different but the thing is you know like I'm different you know I have certain attractions I have certain uh, taste in men you know and I've been criticized because I don't date Asians or whites or blacks I just date my own people. I date my own race. Actually, my own nationality. <laughs> I don't date Cubans or Puerto Ricans or any of that. Um, thank you very much. I mean, I appreciate the thought. But, uh, you know, it's just, it's just me. It, it, it's just how I am. You know, this is my taste. But uh, all of us are, are different. Yes, we all view sex differently. We all view life differently. We all have different ideas, emotions, feelings, and we go through other shit too. Uh, but when you take it up the ass, I'll say this because this is plain and simple. I don't know why these guys want to complicate things. 
why can't we make things simpler and say, look, you take it up the ass and you suck cock or either of those two, you're, you're a homo. Now, if you say that once in a while you can fuck a girl, then I guess we can say, well, you're bisexual. Is that what it is? Because I rarely see that. I mean, that's not something that I see ever, you know. And I've been to a lot of places. And I've been in touch with a, a lot of people, a, a lot of guys. I mean, I've been with guys who have fucked with other with other girls. Uh, but they've, they've all been tops. They've never been bottoms. They never, unless it's, that's what the, that's what this guy is saying. If he's saying that you know all I do is top other guys and I fuck them in the ass, I'm not the one getting fucked, and that's a whole different story. I know you people, some of you may not understand. I've already explained this in my other shows and uh, my other broadcasts, and I pretty much explain you know basically. If you fuck a gay guy in the ass, or if you let him suck a dick, suck your dick, doesn't make you a homo, because it depends on your feelings, you know. And guys, in general, whether you're straight or gay, are going to be more sexually aroused than uh, females are. That I know is pretty clear. And uh, that's why there are many straight guys who will, you know, do things with you if you're a homo. If they're drunk or if they're, you know, I don't know. It just depends. on, Because I, 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 I dealt with a lot of these straight guys who are pretty, they have a lot of emotional problems in their lives. And their escape is with me. You know, they come over and then they... You know, they used to, you know, hang out with me and we used to do things. You know, we uh, we fucked and everything. Well, you know, they fucked me because they never wanted anything up their ass. And that's the thing. Maybe it's just my culture that does that. I don't know. But this guy, his name is Renato. And I think he's, uh, I don't know what he is. He looks Puerto Rican. Maybe what I'm thinking about is Mexican, you know, because Mexicans think that way, I think. I mean, what we consider gay is somebody who has been feminized. And, uh, you know, it's not that that's wrong. It's just that's the reality of facts. You know, it's just you have another guy's cock in your ass. You're being fucked by a guy. And, yeah, you might like it and that's enjoyable. But let's get it straight. No pun intended. You are a homo. Period. recently came out of the closet um, just about a year ago so I just went through that whole self-labeling process and it was something that initially I didn't at all um, I knew that I liked men but the word gay itself didn't seem like it described who I was I don't think being gay is something that really is a big facet of my personality it's not something that I think about every day I don't know, when people ask me if I'm gay, kind of just without thinking, I usually respond with, I like guys. <laughs> it, it that, that's, what, that's what makes you gay, you fucking dumbass. I mean, what's behind all this reasoning? I mean, what's behind this? I mean, I, I don't really get it. If you are sexually attracted to guys and you're a guy, you're a homo. Okay? Now, if you are a guy who's attracted to girls and you love pussy, then you're straight or a hetero. And he says, I'm into guys. I, well, what do you mean you're into guys or you like guys? Yeah, of course. If you are sexually attracted to guys, dumbass, then yeah, you're a fucking homo. I'm, I'm sorry to say that. That bothers you. I mean, where do they get these guys anyway? I mean, what the fuck? I mean, they, they get them from Craigslist? You know? Download guys? or what? They're not really download guys because I can... You know, one guy just came out 
few seconds ago on this uh, video clip and boom I can tell like from a mile away that this guy's a fucking homo that he takes it up the ass all the way up to the fucking colon that he takes it I don't know what's the problem you know because it seems like they're trying to it's I don't know. It, it, it seems like they're dragging their feet for something like like just just get it you know get over it. More than just your sexuality now, I think, because I think it's sort of become an identity that I don't necessarily identify with completely. The idea of community is different, definitely in New York than in other places. I think in other places it's a support system, and in New York. Being gay is not as big of an obstacle as other places, so the idea of community sort of fades away. I feel like sometimes I avoid having too many gay male friends because there's, because I automatically compare myself to them all the time. Potentially a stereotype of the gay. See that that's your problem then. I then you shouldn't have any friends because I mean, do you do this just with gay friends? I bet you that this guy who said this right now, he has problems. He has issues. And his issues are that he is that he has a low self-esteem. I mean, that's what he really has. And that's the problem with these guys is that when they are out there mingling around, they have to identify that they're gay or something in that order in order to get laid. If you're going to get laid or if you're going to find a boyfriend or you're going to find a, you know, a spouse or you're going to find something, you're going to have to identify. You're going to have to let people know who you are, what you are, what you're into. Unless you want to live in a cave like a fucking hobbit or something. I don't know. <laughs> you know? Uh, But this is strange to me. It's pretty. Like, I know these kinds of guys. I met them before. Like, they compare. I mean, they cannot stand to be in a nightclub as much. I mean, they'll stay towards the end to try to find some other guys. You know, they're trying to hook up and shit. But they can't find other guys because they cannot relate. Because they have these insecurity issues. And they do. This is all about insecurity and low self-esteem. That's what it really is. To be honest with you. Community is that all gay guys are just trying to sleep with each other. And that even if they're friends, they're just waiting until they... Like, that's something that becomes more than that. I would say all of my close gay friends I've either like had a sexual encounter with. Or that's been just... It's been like on the table. Like being new to this. And then in that case, that makes you a slut. <laughs> You're a fucking whore. Sleep. You sleep with your friends? Come on. Look, I never slept with my friends. I never had. Although, you know, I had the chance many times to go fuck a few of my friends. You know, they've, they've asked me many times. Jose, you know, you want to come over and watch a movie, you know, have some few drinks. I'm like, I know what these guys want. They, you know, they want to fuck. They want me to go in there and fuck their asses. You know, and I said, no, you know, I'm busy. I'm doing something else. And I have a few friends who are like that. But they gave up. I mean, they're not going to go after me. <laughs> uh, but I just cannot sleep with my friends. I can't. I mean, I cannot. Uh, I don't know. I mean... Because then, to me, that becomes something else than a friend, right? I mean, I know I, I heard I hear about gay people sleeping with friends. I mean, what's the what's the point of having friends if you sleep with them? A friend is somebody that you go to and you know you talk about what you did. Oh, you know, I fucked so and so, etc., cetera, etc., cetera, and we did this and that. I mean, that's somebody that you go to and talk to. We, and, or you, you can complain about your partner or your lover, you know, and complain to that person about your lover, not to become your second or third lover. I mean, I, I, I don't really understand that. I mean, if these guys are getting 
into these types of situations. No wonder they hate uh, gay dudes because they they sleep with them and shit always ends up hitting the fan. When you sleep with friends, when friends are starting to sleep with each other and then there's the lovers involved or 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 a relative is involved like in some cases that I've witnessed. Uh, there's going to be trouble. There will be trouble. There will be headache. There will be drama. You know, and I try to avoid the drama because, look, if I sleep with one of my friends, that friend is going to tell another friend. And then that other friend is going to feel jealous or they're going to feel left out. Or they're going to have, you know, they're, they're going to change their attitude. If I want to sleep with you, if I want to fuck you, it's because I view you as something else than a friend. Either a fuck, which is I try to avoid or you are going to be my boyfriend, which is something that I try to uh, pursue many times. You know, when I have a boyfriend, and I had one for two years now, before we uh, broke up, uh, you know, we didn't go sleeping with other people. Why do we, why do you want to do that for? I mean, if you're happy with this person, you're happy with this person. There's no need, I mean, I mean, there's no need to go to other people. Unless there's something missing with that person. I mean, that's what I think. City, I really only had one friend to move when I moved here. And just trying to meet new people, like, if I'm not going to have sex with you, like, that tends to be the conversation stopper when they're like, oh, come over. And I'm like, can we meet somewhere public? <laughs> the guys that I'm more interested in. <laughs> what kind of fucking friends do you have, dude? That they want to fuck you. And, and if you don't fuck them, they're not your friends. I mean, what the hell? What kind of friends do you have? A real friend doesn't matter. Let's say, okay, you're fucking your friend. Let's say that you're fucking a friend. If that friend was a real friend, you'll say, you know what? Um, I met somebody, which let's say you have. I met somebody. I think we're going to go steady. And I don't want to fuck with you anymore, you know, if you understand. That person, if he's a real friend, he'll say, Jose, you're right. Let's stop fucking with each other because, you know, your relationship isn't a good serious. I understand. And, uh, you know, I might have to deal with it, but that's okay. You're my friend and I'm going to stick with you. But that's not going to happen. <laughs> that's not going to happen. Uh, they're going to be like, what the fuck? You know, I really want to sleep with you. I really want to fuck with you more. You know, why, why, why? You know what the problem is? Is that these guys don't have control of their lives. They let things get out of control. They let things get really under their skin. And also, they just don't know how to pick their friends. And then they have, of course, insecurity issues. So that's my opinion and my um, take on this documentary. I'm going to stop playing it. But there it is for those of you who want to look it up and uh, watch it yourselves. It's called uh, 20 Gay Male NYC, something like that. I forgot what it was called. 20 Insecure Bastards and Whores and Sluts Who Sleep With Their Friends. What kind of a life is that? I mean, imagine that life that you have where every friend that you have, it, it you have slept with. I mean, that you fuck Every friend, every friend you ever had in your life, you ha you you had them in your bed. That's pretty fucking creepy, you know. It's it just it's it just fucking outrageous. You have friends because there's a special bond with those friends, and it doesn't need to go sexual. It doesn't. I have I have a lot of gay friends, and I have a lot of straight friends. I don't sleep with any of them. Heck, I even had a couple of straight friends of mine, straight guys who like, hey, Jose, uh, I'm horny and I want you to blow me, you know, stuff like that. And I say, no, you're, you're my friend. I don't want to go there. You know, I, mean, I just, it, I mean, back then, maybe I would have done it because I was younger and pretty much stupid. <clears throat> you know, I did that in high school when I, I you know, I had sex with friends, you know, and uh, straight guys who were, were my friends in high school. Things like that happen all the time, but when you grow up, you get to see what happens 
to human dynamics, to the to relationships. Once you inject sex into something like that, into a friendship or any type of relationship, once you inject sex, it's going to really change the whole dynamics, and is really going to it, it, it's it's gonna cause problems. Unless you're very, very shallow and don't give a shit. But I am a human being and I care about my friends. I care about them and I don't want them to, you know, to lose themselves over stupid stuff, over sex. I mean, the last thing that friends, good friends, should be fighting over is sex. And I see. Friendships and relationships torn apart over sex because people couldn't keep their pants up. And let me just say this, and then we're gonna move to another thing. But let, let me just say this: I find guys who are a little bit more conservative sexually. I mean, I, I'm not saying that they're prude, but guys who have some restraint, who say, you know what, not now, or no, maybe not with this guy. Maybe some other time. You know, those kinds of guys, they turn me on. Because these are guys that are, I think, a little bit more uh, fully rounded. And they don't need to prove to themselves anything by ha getting laid or having sex. When you have sex, believe me, um, for me, it is when you actually like that person. If you're going to have sex because you want to get your load off, then, you know, I don't know what to say. And you may have a different opinion. You know, this is just my opinion. I'm all, I'm all for whatever you want to do. But I'm just telling you, based on my experience, and I've been there, I've been there, you know, I've done a lot of promiscuous shit. And things never end up going right. For me, until I started settling down a lot more and having real relationships with other men, that's when I started to really realize that, you know, things are going to be, things are actually more meaningful in life once you start to slow down a bit. Because I see guys that they'll see another guy and then within 20 minutes, no more than 20 minutes. See them running out the fucking back door of a nightclub, going to their car and fucking somewhere else. If it was legal to fuck inside of a club, they'll do it. I mean, it's it's that, it's that desperate. It's that fucking sleazy. And then these guys come out and complain. Now I don't want to be called gay. Now I don't want that label on me. Now. Um, well, that's when I, you know, when I was about 24, 25, I started to think like this, like some of these doofuses on this, um, on this clip, on this documentary. And I finally realized after a couple of months later, after I was dancing with this idea, that it was my fault because I had created the situation for me to think like that. It was my actions that made me think like I don't want to be labeled gay because, you know, it's really stupid, to be honest with you. Anyway, there you go. Check it out if you're interested seeing little uh, gay dudes and queens getting all their panties in a twist. <laughs> and uh, basically uh, bashing other gays. It's pretty funny. It's very entertaining, actually. In reality, it's very entertaining. Is it educational? Mm, no, not at all.